Yep. Good afternoon. My name is Jeannie Buser. Thank you so much for joining me today on this beautiful spring day. My book is called Willow Tree. Gracefully it stands, sta swaying in the wind. Small branches bend, though do not break. Scarred trunk, gnarled roots, missing limbs. Still it grows, gently moving as we stand in awe. Years ago in a grassy meadow lay a seed for a very small tree. On a distant hill, some very large trees stood. Mice, birds, chipmunks, forage for berries and seeds in the meadow grass. Large birds soared high, seeking prey below. Smaller birds sought shelter from the hawk's eyes. The very small tree seed lay on a small patch of ground, surrounded by grass, perhaps carried there by a wafting wind. Sun shone on the brittle seed. Rain moistened the dry soil. As the seasons progressed, changes occurred. In spring, a gentle wind carried clouds across the sky. Butterflies fluttered from flower to flower. Bees buzzed. Blaze swayed. Rain added a sweet smell. Feeling fearful and afraid of hungry animals feasting on the grass, Willow hoped he wouldn't be stepped on. My cat's joining me. Shallow roots, shoots and leaves emerged slowly. Spring grass and the morning dew glimmered. Days and nights rejoiced in the cool air. Willowed roots gently dug into the soil and rock trying to hold on, growing a little stronger every day. Other meadow flowers would show their colors, and meadow grass changed from winter's restful hue to brilliant green. With branches reaching toward the sky, the tree continued growing. This very young tree looked across the meadow, spying larger, older trees, standing tall and majestic in the nearby hills. There was no one like him. Willow sighed, feeling sad and lonely. He heard birds chirping, viewed animals roaming through the grass. Mightless fledgling sustained the energy needed to grow. Can I be like those large, strong trees, he worried. Willow began to cry as his small branches and delicate leaves quivered and shook. Just then he heard a voice in the wind. It was Mother Nature who watches over all her earthly charges. She whispered gently, Don't cry, little one. You will grow. It will take some time, my willow. He stopped to listen. Who said that, he said. No reply came. The birds continued singing, and the winds blew by. And after a while, willow ceased crying. Spring lasted a long time. Summer arrived. Warm sun beat down on the meadow. Grass sported brown. There was little rain. Many animals stayed away as insufficient grass denied them food. In time, Willow grew stronger, sturdier, and taller. Wispy leaves sprouted from wider branches. Roots dug deeper in the soil. Towards summer end, Willow's leaves looked different, turning from green to fall hues. His trunk produced a layer of bark, it frightened him to consider what the next season would bring. Weather proved very powerful. The sky darkened. With clouds as rainstorms with lightning strikes and fierce winds approached, Willow was so wet. He heard tall branches twisting and cracking, branches observing what happened all around him. Many of the animals' homes were blown away in the wind, causing the meadow and tree to look quite different. Storm damage of the largest trees toppled them, causing them to fall apart. How scared Willow became as the meadow offered him no protection. Years passed and hills looked exceedingly different from when Willow first sprouted from a tiny seed. When the storm subsided, a beautiful rainbow formed in the sky. The different colored leaves and hues of reds, golds, browns, scattered on the ground. They lay on the wet grass. 
The weather changed, becoming colder every day. How scared Willow became as the meadow offered him no protection. Years passed. The hills looked exceedingly different from when Willow first sprouted from a tiny seed. When the storm subsided, a beautiful rainbow formed in the sky. The different colored leaves and hues of reds, golds, browns scattered on the ground. They lay on the wet grass. The weather changed, become colder every day. Winter brought blowing snow and raging winds. The cold snow blanketed the meadow deeply. Sometimes ice formed on the ground. The little animals found it hard to find their burrows or nests so they might hide from winter's wrath. Willow sl swayed slowly, creaking and bending with the wind while ice clung to the tree branches. Finally, winter subsided and the snow and ice melted. Willow looked around at the remaining other trees. Willow recalled days gone by and how he felt sadness and loneliness as a young tree. He remembered Mother Nature's talk, promising growth, encouraging him to have patience. After a while, Willow smiled and sighed. He realized that the older, stronger, taller trees lacked his flexibility. Through storms, winds, and change of seasons, Willow survived. Though different from others, Willow was the strongest tree of all. Thank you. The end.